It's in here. Pop smoke? Yes, sir. Let's go to Cincinnati. Dr. Hans Mum. I'm a retired captain coming out of the Army. Uh, I was medically retired after uh, 16 years, nine months, and uh, I was the officer in charge of the Iraqi regime playing cards, uh, of course, with Saddam as the ace of spades. I'm Marjorie K. Why do I have to follow him? <laughs> okay, let me try. Um, I'm Marjorie K. Eastman. Um, I served in the U.S. Army Reserves. I joined right after 9 11 because of 9 11. And the reason that we are connected is because my first activation uh, was in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. And um, I was forward deployed, um, printing these off, because um, we received them in the soft file. And um, we were cutting them up, and putting rubber bands around them, and getting them out to you know those moving forward, going downrange. The beginnings of all of this was really uh, as I was uh, activated and I got my direct commission and I was assigned to DIA and I had a, a small uh, group of, of uh, enlisted who were working on a database and it's what we call the black, white, gray list. And so during this black, white, gray list, what I figured out was that the soldier on the ground had no idea who we were even looking for. So I went to my management at the time and I said, I really want to be able to, you know, get this information out. I mean, we've got this great database, but they can't get access to a computer out in the middle of a desert somewhere. And uh, they said, oh, oh yes, uh, Lieutenant, that, that would be great. You should, you should put that into, uh, you know, a field manual. <laughs> I said, you know, with all due respect, sir, a, a field manual is what we call fancy toilet paper in the, uh, the, the enlisted ranks. And I thought to myself, well, you know, what do we do? In downtime, we play spades, we, we, we might gamble every now and then, who knows? Uh, and so I thought, you know, if I could do a deck of cards, I could actually train them while they're on their downtime and they don't even understand they're being trained. I mean, well, just the simple aspect of it, it was, it was with lists, high value targets, HVTs, um, and it allowed for those moving out, moving on missions to have a quick, you know, access to facial recognition, the names, um, um, on the jokers, we had the ranks, right? Yes, and, it was instructions and, for the troops. And otherwise, that stuff was all just sitting on the zipper or, or some classified system, and, you know, it, it wasn't in front of us when we were out operating. 